Hello, and welcome back to our lovely little adventure where we are continuing on with our last three armor. side quests that we have. Nice. And we'll be done. Huh. You know what I realized? Those look like the artifact set that... Artifacts relic set that I have on a couple of characters. Speaking of which, I, I've been working hard, but you know, building characters, no matter what, is really difficult. But I managed this. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's the best we got, guys. Don't worry about it. I still gotta work on her, though. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I got a long way to go, guys. I got a long way to go. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. It's it, don't, don't definitely don't worry about him. What do we got going? On? I really want to run around to somebody else, but what if I fight stuff? I'm scared. Uh, well, I guess if we end up fighting something, um. We'll die. Don't worry about it. Um. What do I want to do? Considering none of these people are built, it's like, don't worry about it. Shut up. It's fine. I don't know what to do. Like, I want to run around to somebody else for a while. This will be fine. How much trouble can we get into following a little dragon child around? You'd be a tool to me. I don't believe in ghosts. Bye, Lou. This way. I forgot what was going on with this. I think she's Coming. trying to hide. Help us get rid of him, please. We'll have plenty of time to talk later. Huh. I'll ask first, and then decide what to do. I don't believe in ghosts. You there! Excuse me. I want to ask you something. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one. Can you at least hear me out first? Sure, why not? <laughs> Have you seen a woman wearing an alchemy commission uniform? She was about the same height as you. I think she was heading towards the jetty. I don't we know. walk the same path, but it would seem she's hiding from me. <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm. Very well, thank you. I'll head over to the jetty. And why is that? Say, now that you know who I'm looking for, why don't you tell me who you are? Oh. How much trouble can we get into with a little dragon child? Uh, yeah, just a lot of trouble, I guess. God dang it. Never falters. How much trouble can you get into? I don't know. How much trouble can you get into? Answer me. Zero points. Give it up. 
recount. You don't look so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't. We're gonna die. This ends here. Uh, you bully. <sighs> yep, thanks. Got the defense? I, I, I am greatly, greatly happy. Just. Everything I'm fighting is not. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, considering he's not leveled. This is or built correctly. It's fine. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> is that all? Hmm. Hope you're prepared. <laughs> you bully! Got the defense? Give it up. I shall be the judge. Ouch. Answer me. Zero points. Still in denial? I mean, not really. It's, it's not too bad. <sighs> Listen, we're fine. You bully! You don't look so good. Don't worry about it. Not bad. Five points. Michael, cool, thanks. Whack. Recount. Got the defense? A test. Failed. I shall be the judge. I'm asking questions. See, we're fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. There's more to this alchemy commission, Doctor, than meets the eye. I wonder if I can glean more clues from him. That's an alchemy commission doctor's uniform, all right. Dahao did say there was suspicion surrounding the alchemy commission. I better take this. Oh, I better take this. Or, maybe that's not necessary. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's humongous. <sighs> Feels like I'm still missing an important clue. More investigation needed. What? That's an alchemy commission. Do Dahao did say that... I better take. I better take this. How much trouble can you get into? I don't know. How much trouble can you get into? Need your extractor cleaned or your starship service? <laughs> uh, nobody home. Does that mean we're safe now? <sighs> we're coming out! What happened? That man wanted to catch me and take me back to the Alchemy Commission, right? I knew it! See? 
I told you this guy was trustworthy. Thank you for helping us. But I'm worried you being here could just complicate matters further. Please leave us be. Huh? Why were they looking for Miss Fazia? That can't be right. They must have been looking for me. How can I prove the doctor from the Alchemy Commission was looking for Bonsia? I don't know. Be nice. Here's the proof. Uh, this letter. Wait, I've heard of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Aren't they those crazy followers that worship the Mara struck and the plague's author? But Bonsia's nothing like them. She wanted me to treat the Mara struck. Lady Bailu, you promised you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Wanted her to treat the Mara struck? Suspicious. Could she be a disciple of Sanctus Medicus? I wonder if I have any evidence. Hecano. But wait a minute. We'll just go through all of them like I did in a. Uh... But wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> This is a prescription from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Bailu, can you take a look? The handwriting on this prescription is exactly the same as the one you gave to me. Bansia, are you really from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Huh? You're a liar! A great big liar! <sighs> I'm sorry, Lady Bailu. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. And that doctor from the Alchemy Commission was sent to catch me. But I... I never meant to harm Lady Bailu. On the contrary, by taking her away from that place, I was protecting her. I made a deal with Lady Bailu before we escaped. We have an urgent task to complete. Please. Don't take her away. I should ask Bailu what she thinks about all this first. Huh? Treating wounds and diseases is one thing. But curing the evils of humanity? <laughs> there I was thinking, someone helped me escape the Alchemy Commission because they genuinely wanted to help me. Huh. Enough. Being angry will stunt my growth. Let's put this behind us. Okay. I don't know much. If it weren't for those scrolls in the Alchemy Commission's Elixir Research Terrace, I doubt anyone in the Shinsho would have heard of them. A long time ago, even by the standards of long-life species, the Shinsho eliminated an organization that worshipped the Plague's author. Why were they eliminated? Because they held an incredibly dangerous notion. Shinto people wanted to be released from the threat of Mara and return to the stability of life and death. Yet the disciples of Sanctus Medicus believed that being stricken with Mara was a blessing, a natural evolutionary step in casting off the mortal coil. Sounds great, right? Well, only if you think becoming a monster devoid of all humanity is a good thing. That's why the Clout Knights and Ten Lords Commission cooperated to eliminate the organization. But just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like eradicating a sickness. Easier to do when the symptoms are visible. In hindsight, 
Not only did the disciples endure, they expanded the organization in secret. The people of the Shenzhou have asked themselves that question thousands of times. Countless doctors and sages have dedicated their lives to researching a cure for the curse. Tragically, besides a few theories, no one has come to a definite conclusion. In truth, nobody in this world can fully comprehend the curse of the plague's author. Some doctors believe that because the people of the Shenzhou have immortal bodies, their memories accumulate until no more can be stored in the brain. Only the most vivid and extreme memories persist. But such memories are usually ones of regret, hatred, grief, and other negative emotions. That's when the symptoms of being stricken with Mara begin to show. But the physical changes are the most terrifying. How should I know? It's not like commission members walk around with Disciple of Sanctus Medicus on their foreheads. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with Lady Bailiff, but <laughs> I had no other choice. I asked her to save my beloved. In return, I helped her escape from the Alchemy Commission. I broke many of the Vidyadara's laws, and the Alchemy Commission is bound to punish me. But I just can't let my beloved die. I don't have much time left, but go ahead. I thought we would be fine after we escaped. I didn't know those people would come after us. I, I just couldn't find a way to tell her I was a disciple and about all the things I experienced there. You've been nice to me, but you shouldn't have kept me in the dark. I hate when grown-ups hide secrets and only tell you half the story. Whew, it's such a headache. His name is Leon Mu. He's a short life species that requested an elixir. I used to think that the suffering of short life species was nothing. But my heart. <laughs> my heart ached when I saw him in such pain. It's something I never expected to experience in my lifetime. Falling in love with a short life species. <laughs> such a bittersweet feeling. That's when I thought of Lady Bailu, the dragon lady that can heal mortals through tears alone. But it would take 30 years for her to treat all those in need. I had no choice but to come up with this plan. Please. Please forgive me. I'm already showing symptoms of the Mara struck. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus regard the Marastruck as saints. They take all kinds of strange medicines to speed up the process. I was no exception. But since I met Leamu, I realized that these saints are horrible creatures. Even if I were to become immortal, to not recognize him, to forget him, or become something that he doesn't recognize, that's why I stopped taking the medicines and escaped. Thanks to the Dragon Lady, I made it here safely. Hmm. She hid everything from me. But I promised her I'd save her beloved. After all these years, I'm still not used to seeing people suffer. <laughs> Lady Bailu. Bansia, tell us what you want to do next. I can't let the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission find us. We need to find a way to get to Cloudford without drawing their attention. Need to extract I don't believe in ghosts.
fine. Don't worry about it. I'm Guang Da, an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. If you have an urgent issue, please go to the Chancery. Uh, uh huh? Aren't you the healer lady? Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> if it's official business you're here about, you'll need to go to the Chancery. Da Hao and Song Yan should be there. I'm just an orderly. As for anything concerning the Dragon Lady, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Hey, would you keep it down? You've got it wrong. That, that's not my ship, it's my friend's. My friend has a Star Skiff travel permit and can help you leave quickly. I'm not the one who owns the ship. Just cut to the chase. Can we take the ship or not? Yes, you can, but please keep it down. I can take you there if the price is right. I, uh, I mean, my friend can take you there. So relax, hmm? How about it? Shall we set off? All right. See, we're fine. <laughs> now that we're worrying about it, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know. I must see him. Oh, gee, yeah. lady, you're the dying. Symptoms are getting worse. I have some soothing tonic in my gourd. Would you like some before we set off? <sighs> Thanks, Lady Bailu. But we can't delay any longer. I told Lanmu to hide in a Cloudbird shipping container. I couldn't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus find him. Because I promised Lian Lu I'd bring him an elixir of immortality. To make him one of the people of the Xianzhou like me. <gasps> you know that's one of the Xianzhou's ten unpardonable sins, right? Yes. But... I knew nothing about the treachery of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus back then. I only knew that people in the Alchemy Commission were involved in ancient clandestine medicines. But I was wrong. It wasn't a blessing of immortality. Not even a poor imitation. They were turning humans into monsters, weren't they? Short life species are expendable to those maniacs. They use them in experiments to develop their medicines. <laughs> I don't have much time left. And I only have one solution left. That's right. <sighs> Lady Bailu, you still remember our deal, right? You help me escape the Alchemy Commission, I save your sweetheart. <sighs> Thank you, Lady Bailu. The place we arranged to meet up is ahead. Let's go. All right, then. I can't. I can't forget. I must get there. Oof. This is bad. She's starting to lose touch with reality. Yeah, that's... Something tonic might not work anymore. This calls for shock treatment. Shock treatment? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, let's just go all the way to shock therapy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's cool? Just, you know, a little bit of shock therapy. It's no, no big deal. Whoa, no, hello, no goodbye. Here. Don't worry about it. Where am I go? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Help! Run away! Wind. <gasps> it was just the wind. Oh my god! Don't worry about it. <laughs> How can that be? Where is he? We agreed to meet here. Oh lord! Settle down. <laughs> my head. How can that be? Let her rest here for a while. I'll think of something. Try not to move, Banzia. But he's not here. We still need to find him. Hey, settle down. Don't worry about Nurse, it. Nurse, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Doctor's orders. Can you see if there are any clues nearby? 
I don't think Vansia's sweetheart would leave for no reason. Leave the patient to me. I'm the healer lady of the Alchemy Commission, after all. Okay. Goodbye. Let's start with this area and see if we can find any clues nearby. Settle down. Oh my God, could the internet settle down, please? It looks like Bansha's sweetheart was tracked by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and had to switch locations. I should go tell Bansha and Bailu. Don't leave. The internet needs me right now. Oh, Lord. Settle down. You can do it. You can make it through it. What happened? Did you find any clues? Yeah, a letter. Uh, uh, <coughs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus already had their eye on this place. Oh. I just hope he's okay. Let's keep walking. No, already then. No way. Do you know how bad your condition is? Don't worry. I'll find young Mu and treat him. <laughs> Send Bansia back to the apothecary in Starskip Haven. Uh, no. I know exactly how bad my condition is. Uh, that's why I've changed my mind. I want to see him one last time. You'll help me. Right? A favor to ask you. You've seen for yourself how dangerous the Mara struck can be. If the time comes, please protect the dragon lady. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you say that. I, like break I caught sight of a lot of disciples in the area just now. I'm a traitor to them. They won't stand idly by if they lay eyes on me. If you can't fend them off, just let me go with them. Does one traitor require... Oops. <laughs> I thought they were done. The beauty is eternal. Give it up. This ends here. Gotta hit this with the core. Embrace virtue. Wretched and fleeting. Ow. Still end enough. <sighs> Hope you're my oath is get out of here. This is serious. I shall be the judge. Let me take my guide. <laughs> this ends here. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. The darkness ends here. <sighs> Lady Bailu, I can't go on anymore. Ah. <sighs> He isn't waiting for us here. Did he hide somewhere else? Lady Bailu, watch out! There you are. Z clearly failed them. Oh, and if it isn't the Dragon Lady, trying to make up for past sins, are we? Blah, blah, blah. I've heard enough out of you already. If it's a beating you want, allow me to do the honors. Okay. Good thing you're in my party then. You in a moment, little girl. Men, take the traitor and make sure you get the list from her. That is every 
one. Seize them. Are uh you giving me an order? Uh oh. Hello, ma'am. You. Karmic atonement. A ten lords commission, judge. Oh, great. It's three of them. The beauty is eternal. Until I. Hey, you guys want to die? Like protect all beauty. For a drill. <laughs> There we go. Problem solved. <sighs> this Ten Lords Commission judge packs a punch. Barbantia, you. Shh, shh, shh. If she notices my symptoms, she won't hesitate. Why are the disciples of Sanctus Medicus pursuing you? Uh. Don't worry about it. I only see two of you in Alchemy Commission attire. You, girl, raise your head. You have a wandering look in your eyes. A Mara struck look, perhaps? Uh, help us, Miss Judge! We only just managed to escape before the Delves were locked down. Those evil men have been chasing us. This nurse is so scared she can barely stand! Wow, by the Perfect great A acting. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been found in the southwest of Cloudburg. This place isn't secure. You should leave immediately. Soldiers, see them on their way. Perfect great A acting, by the That's the strangest judge I've ever come across. Bantia, are you alright? Well, she's a robot, so. <laughs> I made it this far. I won't go back without seeing him one last time. Let's go this way and see if we can avoid those cloud knights. Got this. There are cloud knights and disciples of Sanctus Medicus over there. We don't have time for them. There are armed villains up ahead. If you're not on duty here, return to the city for your own safety. Uh, uh, he's right behind that door. Uh, we're almost there. But there are cloud knights stationed there. Wait, I have an idea. We don't have time for storytelling. Didn't we pass some soldiers resting on the way over here? You know, the place where the Cloud Knights and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus fought. <sighs> you said it, not me. Hmm, a spot of emergency treatment in exchange for some armor. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> Let's do what Lady Bailu suggested. Time to lose. <clears throat> Let's go. Just tell them your soldier is guiding me back to the Alchemy Commission. They won't know any better. Halt! 
What's with the kid? Uh, uh, surely, you know the healer lady of Alchemy Commission. Hmm. She does have horns and a tail. <laughs> wow, really? I heard the dragon lady likes to sneak away from the commission. But I never thought I'd have the honor of seeing her in person. No, no! I haven't finished playing yet! I don't want to go back to the alchemy commission! Uh... <laughs> Is the nearest harbor up ahead? That's right. You don't seem very well, soldier. We have a military doctor up ahead. Mm, don't worry. I have the dragon lady with me. I... I still want to play! I'm hungry! Don't take me back! I don't want to go back! I'm not going back! Access granted. Good work, soldiers. <clears throat> Thank you. How was that? Wasn't my acting amazing? Let Spot me on. Tell you, a performance <laughs> like that requires a lot of temper tantrum practice. <laughs> Great, cool. Uh huh. By the way, what's taking Vansia so long? <coughs> Why can't I take uh -oh. off? My helmet! Uh, why is my voice like this? Uh oh, she's turned! Can you help me check? <laughs> it feels like something's caught! But she still has the senses! Lady Vaila, is this a result of your healing? <laughs> Thank you. If it weren't for you, I... Don't thank me! It's my fault. I couldn't preserve you the way you were. You can't cure someone stricken with Mara. <laughs> it's already a miracle that I still have my senses. That I can talk to you. Hey, do you still remember what I said earlier? If the time comes... Let's go. While I still have my senses. I feel a bit dizzy. What should I do? Serious imbalances of yin and yang? Cold and heat? Mm. I just need a rest. Lady Bailu. Don't forget our deal. I'll heal him. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. It's because of me that all of you are in danger. Enough talk. Here, I'll pour the medicine through the helmet. Thank you, Lady Bailu. But I can't feel the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. We've arrived. Is he not here either? Mm. He's cautious by nature. 
Do you remember his note? He told me to come alone. But you already... <laughs> he won't show himself if you're here. <coughs> I'll call out to him. Please, you two, find somewhere to hide. <laughs> remember our promise. I remember. Let's go. That went well. No! Let's hurry over. Oh, where am I going? Oh, God. Help. I can't hold on any longer. <laughs> Do it. Don't forget. I promise. Yeah, that's great, you know. Good old depression. Still in denial. <sighs> Need a doctor? <laughs> Embrace. Oh, just, don't worry about it. My gratitude. Bye, ma'am. I'm sorry. <sighs> Do you think she saw him one last time? I hope so. Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him. Ha <laughs> ha depression. <laughs> Yay! Love that for me. Hi. Sorry. Are you from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! That's right. I'm here to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Bancia's voice, but I ran straight into a monster. <sighs> what a day. But if Bancia sent you, then where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? You know, he would have been... Listen, I'm not for... Um, lying when it comes to this sort of situation. Um, because he'll find out eventually, and... What? That monster arm to the teeth? That was Bancha? Mm -hmm. You're lying. It's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. This is Bancha, this hideous creature. Hey, I know you're probably in shock, but... She changed out of her original clothes, right? <sighs> There's no point in searching the body, then. 
Wait, what? Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Search? For what? You don't know? She left me with nothing. Was she playing me this whole time? The list of the names of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. With that list, I'd be able to blackmail the disciples into giving me the elixir of immortality. Or I could submit the list to the Cloud Knights to avoid banishment from the Sien Cho. That woman promised me countless times. In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. But in the end, she failed at the most important hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. She probably lied to you too. Are you the type of people that helps someone who tricked you? I don't think so. <laughs> Sweetheart? That was her wishful thinking. I wasn't interested in the slightest. No way. You thought so too? Heal. What? Let me heal you, so I never have to lay eyes on you again! Huh? Great idea! Seeing as I'm due to heal him anyway, to your word! Wait, what are you doing? Hurt! Beating you up, that's what! Don't worry about it, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna keep it to myself. wouldn't do. I made a promise to Fantia. I healed him. But for the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. Ha! Good job. What? He deserved <laughs> it. <laughs> That's definitely one thing to do. Good job. I love you. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> do you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. Express? What's that? Hmm. The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskip Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Mansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, it's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it. But this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara struck. Thank you. Hm. Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. Bye. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. Huh. Oh my god, are some of these miserable? Miserable? Mythable? Huh. It's a little weird. Maybe you'll be able to buy achievement. Achievement. Hey.
probably gonna make me something to eat soon. Yeah, about him. He said, "Don't worry about it." I didn't put the ping attention to. <laughs> I just remember this guy turned himself into a child by accident. Like he wanted to do immortality, like the vid 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 the dragon people, and uh, he accidentally turned himself into a child. Where he's at now, I don't actually know. I kind of forgot where he went. He could be a baby for all I know. Some of these seem to be missable, miss, 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 missable. I'm wondering if you'll be able to buy them. Like, if you miss them, will you be able to buy them? Hmm. How long have we been dating here? How long have you been dating? <clears throat> This one's not so bad. Did you put up the ad this time? Alright. Let's go to full recall. Even though I don't care about March at all. It's always gotta be somebody that I can't really stand. So have you acquired something from your past? As a nameless, surely you must have souvenirs from your journeys that could evoke memories. I've got lots. It's just, I don't know what to choose. Ah, proof that I boarded the express. The conductor gave me this. Memories from the Astral Express? That should do the trick. Something related to your work. Good. Ah, so shiny and pretty. I picked up this little guy in Bellabog's underworld. Well, how could something so beautiful be unsafe? I don't know. I Have you seen lots of stuff in life? Fondness for glittering gemstones. <laughs> Boba. One of my fondest memories on the Sienjo. <laughs> no comment. I happen to prefer Star Taro bubble tea. Is that it? Miss March, are you not able to provide possessions from before you lost your memory? Uh, before I lost my memory? So, something I don't remember getting? Even then, I couldn't be sure it was from before I lost my memory, right? It may be strange to you, but to infer the past, I need materials that were pertinent at that time. Could you try recalling some memories again? From before the memory loss, before the express. I'm sorry, Master Diviner. When Himeko found me in the ice, I was stark naked, like a newborn baby. I didn't have any items with me. And before you ask, no, I don't have any of that ice lying around. It melted away not long after I was rescued. Oh, yeah! You sure are a smart cookie. My six-phased ice ability must date from before the memory loss. Master Diviner, any ice I create should do, right? It should indeed. I'll have someone place the material in the base of the terminal of the Matrix. Miss March, please position yourself in the Matrix core. 
We may begin our inference whenever you are ready. The Matrix has clear diagnostics. Miss March, are you ready yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be. Almost kinda ready to go. Please be prepared. Not all memories are suitable for reawakening. People carry with them much pain and suffering. If you're not ready, we can pause the inference process. I would never wish for good intentions to result in harm. Uh, I'm okay. Let's do it. Only way to find out is to give it a go. Very well. I will soon connect you to the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, where the Matrix will read your memories and guide you back into your past. If you reach a block in your memory, the Matrix will use the data gathered to derive a scenario and construct a possible past for you. Uh, got it. Oh, uh, can he join me too? I'm sorry. That would be highly inadvisable. <clears throat> you form the nexus of the Matrix's inference. He would only introduce redundant data to the system. In other words, inside the memory palace that the Matrix constructs, the only person you'll be able to count on is yourself. Don't worry. I can communicate with you from outside the Matrix and manipulate the recollection process to a certain extent. Let's begin. Oh, okay. We're doing fighting. <sighs> Must include Fu Xuan. Okay, no problem. I can handle that. Oh god, I... It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine, don't worry about it. it... There you are. Good lord. We'll be fine! The Matrix of Prescience has reconstructed your past. Before you is a space generated from the memories and items you provided as raw materials. Are you okay, Miss March? I'm good. Everything seems normal. You have a strong constitution. Most individuals feel nauseous after being presented with a dizzying excess of information provided by the Matrix. I must be seeing things. Why are there two Fushens here? Your eyes are working just fine. One of the Fushwens is a projection of me which allows us to communicate with each other at all times. The other Fushuen indicates that I existed during this part of your experience. What experience is this? It looks like the healer's market. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, this must be the time we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Really? Uh, that can't be right. I remember there were lots of Cloud Knights in the plaza. Well, this is just a Matrix inference, remember? Distortions are possible. Although, the scale of this distortion is surprising. Try communicating with the Fu Xuan you see over there. We should hear what the Master Diviner has to say. <clears throat> oh lord oh god there's three of them <laughs> there's my fear idols she's so cute wind on top with mountain underneath find the second to last line hmm more sugar intake needed time for some sweet tea 
I'm sorry, that's literally eerie. There's just three of them. Mountain marsh from top to bottom. The third to last line means hmm. someone's slacking off right now. But I can't take a picture. <laughs> There's just three of them. Um, which one's which? I don't remember. I guess it. Oh god, something in my eye. Hold on, my eye hurts. Miss Fushuan, is that you? Uh, wrong, Fushuan. Talk to the other one. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Miss Fu Xuan, is that you? If we want to resolve the Stellaron crisis, we must refine the question. What is the crux of the problem? Generally, it is believed that when one seizes on the crux of a problem, the problem will split open like bamboo on the edge of a knife. Nobody could have foreseen the catalyzing effect of the Stellaron on the Ambrosial Arbor. As the ancient said, blessings bring about misfortune and vice versa. Nature has its own algorithm, and it is precisely when fate wins betwixt blessing and misfortune that I, a master diviner of masterful proportions, am called on to save the people of the Lafu. What the heck is she talking about? Don't know. Master diviner, did you actually say that at the time? I can't remember. It would appear that in Miss March's estimation, I'm somewhat of a blabbermouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I've always seen you as a, a masterful master diviner. <laughs> Despite the obvious distortions in this experience, the base materials from which it is composed are taken from your actual memory. There is no falsehood here. In other words, your subconscious mind thinks that I talk in tongue twisters. <laughs> uh, it's mainly just that I uh, can't always comprehend the lofty ideals and um, principles you discuss. Forget it. <laughs> now is not the time for losing one's temper. If the inferred experience is distorted, we should focus on filtering out each distortion one by one. Otherwise, we won't be able to trace your memories back any further. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Is there a... simpler explanation? <sighs> Draw your bow and fire an arrow at that Fushuen. Bad luck! Ouchies. Ouchies. Quick divination. Together as one. Still in denial. Okay. <laughs> I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. You poop. <laughs> Come here. 
here. It came together. No matter. This is serious. <laughs> Reciprocity. Excellent. Converge and awaken. A blade knows no mercy. Give it up. A quick divination. I failed to send you. Reciprocity. Excellent. Totally fine. Ugh, that freaked me out. I don't like people suddenly deciding to fight me. Now, let's see who's here. Ching Yun, Welt, General Ching Yuan, and also him. Well, I don't have to fight all of them, right? The Master Diviner was easy peasy, but I don't think I could take General Jing Yuan. Easy peasy? <laughs> the interference factor creating the distortion here should only have one source. That is, the person present who shouldn't be. So I have to pick someone and clear them of interference? Exactly. My projection will disappear for the moment so as to not cloud your judgment. If you can hear my voice, then it means I'm watching over you. You're the best, Master Diviner. <laughs> I hope the best version of me can overwrite the gloriously absurd version that lives in your subconsciousness. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could that be? You? So sleepy. Are you asleep standing? She's so small. She's so small. <laughs> She's so small on feet. <laughs> you may love her to time. General, hello. General? Hello. General Jing Yuan. Hello. Uh, Jing Yuan. <clears throat> oh, what's his deal? Who falls asleep standing up anyway? This Good is question. clearly your subconscious projecting onto the general. Oh, I remember now. The General wasn't there when we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Looks like we found the source of our distortion. March 7th. Ah! Oh, you scared me! Why'd you wake up so suddenly? Are you not satisfied with your life as it is? I... I'm satisfied. Then why are you obsessing over the past? Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. A quick divination. Together as one. This is serious. All things in this world have their laws. Yet stratagems, constellations, are human creations! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You don't look so good. Hiya! I will dispatch you. The fight is set. I see through you. Quick 
divination. Blade knows no mercy. You poof! Too little. <laughs> I see through you together as one. Yin and Yang. Let me tend your wounds. Oh, she healed. <laughs> How fun. What is that? Uh, I know what this is. It's a Bellabog heater. Um, wait a minute. What's a Bellabog heater doing at the healer's market? Looks like part of one experience has infiltrated another. A foreign object, so to speak. A foreign object? That sounds like a medical issue. <laughs> Will it require surgery? No. I believe the object is a sign of the Matrix purging distortion. It has managed to trace back to another one of your experiences. Make contact with the object. Let's see if we can jump over into that experience. I've seen that name somewhere in the astral charts. There are many similar star systems on the Sienjo trade routes. Unfortunately, all of them lost contact after the appearance of the Antimatter Legion. Yeah, Bellabog is a kind of snowy doomsday city. There are heaters like this all over the place. Otherwise, people wouldn't survive. Come on, Master Diviner. I'll give you a whirlwind tour of Bellabog. Uh, is touching a heater a good idea? This thing is red hot. What if my hand turns extra crispy? It's okay. This is a memory space. If something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. Well, I was never beaten up by Jing Yuan in reality either. Enough of that. Touch it. Uh, hey, don't pull on my hand. I. Ow, ow, ow! Hot, hot, hot! Uh, what the actual. That thing was flaming hot! You said things that never happened to me in reality couldn't happen here. I said that if something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. I didn't say anything about the sensation of injury. So this is Bellabog. I was expecting it to be cold. Oh, it's freezing. Huh? Master Diviner, aren't you cold? I can't stop shivering. Hmm. Most likely a result of me never having experienced true cold. I'm afraid you'll have to do the shivering by yourself. On the Lofu, you and I have shared experiences. And so I was able to provide more active assistance. But in Bellabog, you'll have to rely on your own judgment to ascertain the source of distortion and get the foreign object to appear. Yeah, I get it. Oh, Miss March, I have one more thing to ask. Have you ever experienced great suffering? 
Uh, what? I don't think so. Why are you suddenly asking me that? Sometimes people forget extreme memories to protect themselves from suffering. Perhaps you didn't notice, but in your memories of the Lo Fu, everyone you met was either hinting or explicitly stating that you should stop trying to remember. I believe this is most likely your subconscious communicating with you directly. Though, of course, we cannot rule out that external forces may have interfered with your memory. In the latter case, it is possible that someone decided to leave warnings in your subconscious to prevent you from recalling the truth. Am I really that important to someone? I don't think there's anyone who'd go to all the trouble of locking up my memories. And yet, memories are precisely what you seek, no? Hmm. I say this to say one thing. Are you certain you wish to continue exploring your memories? You said external forces might be messing with my head, right? That just makes me more curious. No one gets away with locking up my memories. Let's go. I'll show you the way to Goethe Hotel. <laughs> Very well. I must admit that I'm finding the whole matter more interesting by the minute. This memory should be from the first day we arrived in Bellabog. By the second day, we were wanted criminals already. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could it be? Oh, look, who are you? No, it's dumb. Uh... I would assume you, because we hadn't met you when we first got here. The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They say that an architect once used the preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves. Whale tide spring? Isn't that a variety of Sienjo tea? My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. Ugh, so bitter! Oh, yuck! Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh, bitter is bitter! If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. Seriously? There's an old saying in Bellabog, Blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. Uh, I'm not denying it. <laughs> okay, I guess not. I don't know. We knew all these people before. Miss March! Long time no see! Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Sampo Hotel? Okay, it's gonna this be him. This is Goethe Hotel. Of course it is. Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young <laughs> confidant. I'm sure. Sampo Kuski. And before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. Mm -hmm. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. You see, Elgerta and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. This blue-haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. Yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> you don't need a jade abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Okay. This March 7th. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Oh, okay. I'm Japart, the security here. The whole <laughs> Why would hotel security need to be armed to the teeth? Is there great lawlessness in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, 
don't know. Japard is a captain of the Silvermane Guards. Just like how the Lafu has its own Cloud Knights captains. I have no idea what he's doing running security at a hotel like this, though. It isn't so surprising. In attempting to pursue the rational, we piece together the unrelated. The result is a seemingly meaningful fantasy. A fantasy called life. Excuse me, Miss March. Do you need anything? If there's nothing else, please let me get back to my duty. Also, allow me to remind you, you cannot change the past. The future is all that's left for you. Hmm, that actually does feel like something he would say. All right, you're the last one here. Welcome to the Sample Hotel, Miss March. The Sample Hotel used to be called the Goethe Hotel. After old Goethe retired, Sample managed to trick his way into acquiring this place and renamed it after himself. Luckily, the high quality service of the hotel remains undiminished. It's still the best place to stay in the administrative district. I should mention, the Sample Hotel's new slogan is don't think about the past. Strive for your future. Sounds like the kind of ad copy that Miss March would like. This girl seems quite trustworthy. Uh, that's just the work of my subconscious mind. What else is there? It's just these, but... Long time no see, Zila. March? Long time no see. How's everything been going since you left Bellabog? The Express never looked back. It headed straight for the other end of the galaxy. Because that was its fate. The same goes for us. We can't return to the past. March, don't dwell on the past. It won't do you any good. Trust me. Uh, got it? Thanks. These warnings are ongoing. The situation is becoming stranger by the minute. It sure is. Uh, let's press on and see what awaits. I remember our second day in Bellabog was mostly us being hunted down by Silvermane guards. We didn't meet Zila until way later. Which means, Zila shouldn't be appearing in this memory. She is the source of the interference. In which case, we must eliminate her. Seems like you don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... An answer is not required. She is merely a mirage hindering your progress. I understand. Let's do this. A quick divination. Converge and awaken. I shall be the judge. <coughs> yes, I love that. No matter. You don't look so good. Hiya! The fight is set. Serious.
What's this? Let me see. Developed on Herta Space Station. Seems like this must be the foreign object. The next experience should be meeting him for the first time. Herta Space Station. Shame we didn't get to see the stunning vistas of the snow plains. This hotel lobby must have left a deep impression on you. Well, waking up after a great sleep in a comfy bed to find out you're a wanted criminal tends to leave a deep impression. Let's move on to the next stop. Ugh, I mean, the last stop. Let's go. So long as you're ready. Uh, I'll take a monitor over a red-hot heater any day. March, wake up. We have to hurry. Huh? Are we going? What about Miss Fu Xuan? Fu Xuan? Who's that? And there's no time for daydreaming. The space station is in crisis. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me. Asta said that the Stellaron is stored in that room up ahead. And I'm guessing the Legion might also be interested in its whereabouts. I know this memory. This is before we met him. Don Hung, where are you? Master Diviner? Can you hear me? Oh, darn it, something must have gone wrong. What am I gonna do? Why did Miss Fu Xuan pick the scariest time to vanish? March, can you... me? I'm getting more and more evidence that your memories have suffered interference. But I don't... from. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to do it by myself this time. March, leave your memories in the past. Why do you insist on returning to them? If they were so important to you, wouldn't you have remembered them? The moment a nameless boards the express, a new life begins. We set out on a new road, never to return. Explore, trailblaze, but do not dwell in the past. You'll tarnish the reputation of the nameless. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, enough! You're not him! Nothing like him! He would never try and force me to give up something so important to me! I don't care who you are! Disappear right now and let me pass! And don't you ever pretend to be one of my friends again! Quick divination. Converge and awaken. <laughs> Ow. A blade knows no mercy. Your end approaches. Ow. Fail to send you. It came together. <laughs> No, that's fine, though. Know. Unnecessary. It's necessary. <laughs> Too little. I failed to send you. Still in denial. <laughs> It's you. 
Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. This is the first time we met him. But he isn't here. Who are you? I don't remember you. I am a messenger of the Garden of Recollection. Miss March, please refrain from looking back upon your past. Leave the Matrix of Prescience and return to reality. The past is not worth exploring. It will only hurt you. You're the one who needs to leave. I'm not letting this go. The Garden of Recollection? Did the glow sweater send you? Oh. Are you the one meddling with my observations? What do you want with this girl? No matter the nature of your intentions, stealing others' memories like this, deceiving them, blinding them. I cannot allow that to happen. <sighs> you leave me no choice but to resort to unconventional means. Miss March, this might feel uncomfortable. But I'm going to enter your memory world and help you clear out any obstacles. Uh, Our fortune is clouded. Together as one. <sighs> ow. Ow. Face up, ow. Ten, the Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. That paradise may be unreachable. Savor it for me. Hmm. You've got this. Don't worry about it. Still in denial? Recount. A yin and yang. No matter. They healed up everybody. As one. A blade knows no mercy. Get out of here. Ouchies. Yin and Yang. I shall be the judge. No matter. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. Recount. Shall be the judge. You impede me. Need a doctor? Stay off! Unnecessary. I see through you. Converge and awaken. This is serious. <laughs> a blade knows no mercy. Okay, so she split damage. I to think. Send you. That's what is her gimmick. I think. Like if somebody takes damage, she takes half of it. That's fascinating, you know. 
A quick divination. So she need a split damage. Let me tend your wounds. Still in denial. Recount. No matter. Ouchies. Ouchies. I see through you. Need a doctor? Reciprocity. Excellent. I shall be the judge. Get out of here. Thank you. Thanks for your help, Miss Fushuen. I promised I'd watch over you. Besides, I have been blessed by the Wisdom Walker. I will never tolerate efforts to impede the truth. That person said she was a messenger. The Garden of Recollection. Why would they come after me? Many members of the Garden have their own agenda. It's impossible to confirm anything from a cursory introduction. This is the Astral Express, no? It would seem that you're nearing the source. The Matrix of Prescience Ultima should start making further calculations soon. Do you remember where it was exactly that you were discovered? They set the ice down in one of the passenger cars. It ended up being my room. Then let's pass through this carriage and find your room. Don Hung? Oh, God. Open this ice block. Perhaps we can still save the girl inside. Be careful not to harm her. I've got this. Pom Pom, go and get the first aid kit. Going, going, gone! This must be when the crew first found me. I don't remember a thing. Some memories are buried deep within you. It takes time for them to resurface. What's going on? How come we're back at the start? It's the messenger. She's interfering with your movements again. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. It seemed like that kid was trapped in ice, but the substance doesn't share the same physical properties. How bizarre. The crystals show at least six structures under differing conditions. Six phased ice. The galaxy really is an enigma. Hmm. Of course, I hope we can take her in. Or, uh, rather, I can offer a conclusion based on the most basic of moral judgments. Now that we've found her, we have to look after her. But, naturally, I'm concerned about whether or not this places the Astral Express in any danger. The Astral Express welcomes everyone! Don't worry! Do what you feel is right, and Pom-Pom will take care of the rest! Thanks. I feel more at ease now. I just hope she'll have a good time on the Express and not feel too alienated from the rest of us. Stop worrying so much. Pom Pom will say it again. The Astral Express welcomes everyone. Huh. <laughs> Just gonna keep going. Everyone agreed to take you in. I'm in exile. And by the look of things, you might not have a home to go back to either. But here on the Express, <laughs> nobody is alone. Himiko said that your vitals were all stable. She just didn't know when you'd regain consciousness. The 
Dancer Fear has been thwarting your progress this whole time. Maybe the only way for you to find your past is to take a step back. Don't look back. Keep going forward. I get it. If I do the exact opposite, I'll find my way out. You're a true genius, March. Uh, as soon as you open this door, the Matrix of Prescience will start calculating you your past. You didn't come up with that idea, though. Whenever you're ready. Uh, is this my room? I didn't get a chance to tidy up. Don't judge. This is your room? That block of ice in the center. Has it always been there? Ice? This must be the foreign object. Looks like our exploration has reached its final stage. I will confirm one last time. Are you sure you wish to keep exploring your past? Yes. I'm sure. Master Diviner? Memory. She is busy running the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. You again? What I do with my past is none of your business. Why do you have to make things so difficult? <sighs> Please, trust the Garden of Recollection. Everything I'm doing is for your protection. You don't protect people by imprisoning them. We know. Cool then. If you are truly set on learning about your past, then come with me. I'll show you the origin that you seek. I hope that you will refrain from exploring any further than this. Trust me when I say, nothing good can come of it. There it is, your origin. Your life unfolds from this point on, full of unique experiences and adventure. What happened prior is meaningless to you. The value of your life does not lie in what happened in the past, but in the present and the future. The eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. The sailor avoids the course they know to be dangerous. And you, my child, should come to learn that the past is just an illusion. But your experiences now will be remembered forever. It is time to say goodbye. Here, a parting gift for you. I look forward to our next encounter. Uh, wait! Hold on! Why did the simulation just cut off like that? Uh, I'm fine. Just a little lightheaded is all. And the Matrix of Prescience stopped at precisely the same moment. March, I lost sight of you once you touched that block of ice. What happened? It's... Kinda hard to explain. So, that mysterious girl was really a messenger of the Glow Swather? Glow Swather? You mean Fuli the Remembrance? Are they the eon connected to my past? No, it's too early to draw such a conclusion. All I can say is that it was very likely an eon that sealed away your memories. But not necessarily fully. When the messenger spoke of protection, 
Perhaps she meant the following. By sealing away your memories, the Glow Swather wasn't attempting to harm you, but to shield you from the memories themselves. It's not so bad. At least I know it has to do with the Garden of Recollection, right? It seems like retrieving memories is beyond the operational spectrum of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. Uh, that's all right. You've helped me so much already, Master Diviner. I owe you a big one. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I must organize an inspection of the Matrix. <sighs> <sighs> Fingers crossed there's no damage done. Uh, we'll leave you to it then. <clears throat> uh, run. If we broke something, there'll be a huge bill to pay. Cool. All right, we've got one more left to do. Get out of here. Get, oh my god. Please. Oh, please. For the love of god. Alright. Off we go. Last one. What was that? He just contacted me. Why do you want to contact me now? Oh god, jeez. What the heck do you want? I don't care. Whatever. I'll, I'll see you later. <sighs> oh. You, Pascal. Oh yeah, the little Mary, robot. Like Clara. <laughs> Good boy, Pascal. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a suitable name. You, Pascal, good. I am called Name. Oh, look, Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparog. I can't overlook this unique quality. <laughs> Mr. Sparog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. 
I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Sparrock earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. Her, uh, the bottom of her skirt is way sheer. I just noticed that. <laughs> where are we going? Where, where are we going? We're going all the way over there. Is there a teleporter over there? I can just go down here. Pardon me. It's the same old place. Everywhere you look, there are robots that have lost the ability to function. Hey, big brother, take a look over there. Yeah. Sorry. This is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot's head. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Sorry, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Oh no, it's still active. Watch out! This I'm sorry. Fella is completely out of control. Let's quiet him down. Your end approaches. <laughs> Still in denial. I shall be the judge. By the will of the Ten Lords, the Ten Lords decree. Hereby ordained. That paradise may be a savor it for me. <laughs> this is a very bad party to have right now. You didn't heal one person. Good lord. I failed to send you. Can we talk? <sighs> yeah. Can we talk? Oh, I didn't. Talk a thousand one. Don't worry about it. Fight is fun. <laughs> Time to show you. What did your prescription? I will remember your kindness. I should learn not to run around at certain parties. I will dispatch you. This is serious. <laughs> Set. 
doing? <laughs> You impede me. You poof. I failed to send you. Savor it for me. Welcome, customers. Unnecessary. This is Siri. <laughs> that won't get there when we get Let's there. Be friends. Yeah. <laughs> Unnecessary. <sighs> I fail to send you. Still in denial. I shall be the judge. <laughs> Welcome, Custom. <laughs> yeah. A blade knows no mercy. Your end approaches. Okay, we're good. We did it. <laughs> <gasps> Here it is. This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. It's okay. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the core in a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So... I'm going to try to fix them all. Aww. Thank you for understanding me. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except, there are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. But, I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. Thank you. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Sparg and Pascal will get worried. Oh, jeez. I'm dying. Help. I don't worry about it. Mr. Sparog, we're back. Welcome back. Return. Clara. Ribbit. Fail. You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's Automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Here. Assessing. Assessment complete. Conclusion. Search results cannot be narrowed down any further. The three automatons that match the keyword descriptions are located in Multamerville, Rivet Town, and Forge Town. All three of these mining towns have been abandoned and no automatons have been discovered in these three sites recently. It appears that the trail has gone cold yet again. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet! Fire! Fire! Pascal is 
becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still not functioning properly? What's wrong, Pascal? Watch out, Clara. Failure. 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 Pascal? No. He's running away. Clara. Pascal, did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Sparog. Please, don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Sparog. That's right. This all started with me and can only end with me. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Sparog. I feel... a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. There are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotion are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Sparog. Mr. Sparog, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Sparog anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Sparog. So, let's go. One second. I got in the middle of something. over there Pascal who did this to you pain hurt pain hurt pain hurt hurt pain Clara get away this is a fragmentum creature it's extremely dangerous a fragmentum creature what are you talking about possible pascal is obviously a robot just like you could it have malfunctioned it appears to be normal please step back i shall eliminate this fragmentum creature no it's going to attack pascal we have to stop it 
Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocol. Ow. Oh no. Word. It seems to think we're its enemies as well. By the will of the Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. That's ordeal. a bit rude. That you know? paradise may be a savor it for me. <laughs> great. The smell of sin. I will dispatch you. The fight is set. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unnecessary. You bully. I failed to send you. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Unnecessary. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. That paradise, savor it for me. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> Everybody's just taunted now. This is serious. <sighs> Ow. This is bad. Fail to send you. Still in denial. <laughs> I will A blade knows your no kindness. mercy. Your end approaches. <laughs> That paradise, savor it for me. Give it up. Shall be the judge. Blade knows no mercy. The fight is set. Hey, we're fine. We got it. It's totally okay. Phew. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Connection. Complete. 
Testing. Verifying. All modules. Working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone. Finally. Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to normal. Uh, no. There's one more thing. We still need to find out why Pascal was stealing parts in the first place. Pascal? Could you please... Uh... Explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Been waiting. Repair. Volo, please. Pascal! Ah, Pascal ran off. He went in that direction. I think he wants us to follow him. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered... The light here... Why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. I don't think so. No one should be living here. I never saw anyone when I came here to hunt for supplies. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who? And why? No! Um. This is serious. I shall be the judge. Your end approaches. You poo. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need a doctor? Vitamin. Unnecessary. You poo. <laughs> yeah. Still in denial. Don't worry about it. Better late than never. <laughs> Failed to send you. Give it up. <laughs> Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it, 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 don't worry about it. Ah! Clara, welcome back, Rivet Town. Look, isn't it shiny? Job, Pascal, done, nice. Huh? Could it be? Pascal has been repairing this abandoned town? Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, been. Everyone. Parts. Pascal. Collect. Non-stop. Rivet Town. Repair. Non-stop. It seems that Pascal was stealing parts because he wants to repair the town. Waiting. Everyone. Pascal. Non-stop. Leave. Everyone. Come back. One day. Has Pascal been waiting for Rivet Town's evacuated residents to return? Repair. Been every day. Pascal, use, can, everyone return. Pascal has been looking after the town so that everyone can go back to their previous lives when they return. Workshop. Tempering here, base Pascal secret parts store enemies not here. 
place safe. Scared. No need, everybody. Ah, this appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example... Right. But I don't think Pascal will give us a straightforward answer on this one. Hmm... I wonder if we can find any clues here. Rivertown, Liv, Clara, Tour, feel free, please! pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like Geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor, does he? Hmm... Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? What's this? A diary? Wow, such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? So that's what happened. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again, from the start? That is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned, so it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. At least, that's my theory. Still, that doesn't explain why Pascal is being treated as a fragmentum creature. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big Brother, Clara, Tour, enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts, ready, continue. Or, wait, instruction, next. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big Brother, Clara, Rivet Town, resident. Pascal, protect everybody! 
I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, all right? Pascal, affirmative. Be good. Wait. Let's go back to Mr. Sparag and talk about what to do next. So, that's what happened, Mr. Svarov. But there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. I see. Has Mr. Sparag ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. Actually, I do. Contrary to popular belief, improbable events that are easily disregarded frequently result in catastrophes. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Sparag always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. So, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. However, once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand, but I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence? You know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. No, I can't just give up. There has to be another way. Maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. 
it will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around. And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. <laughs> but he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you. As well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. Clara, the challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps he can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Both have provided their solutions. Svarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue. And it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution. Then persuade the other person. Hmm. Clara proposed that you should choose outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? I understand. Uh, what should we do with Pascal? Oh, I figured you'd say that. But I'd like to know why you went with Mr. Svarok's solution. I understand that, but... I think that anyone with emotions should be treated with dignity, regardless of whether they're a human or robot. I'm confident that I can prevent Pascal from stealing and harming others. However, I respect your point of view. I admit I might not be as rational as Mr. Sfog, and don't think things through as much. So, could you please talk more about your point of view? I'd like to hear some different perspectives. I said I will stay with Pascal until the end, but I'm actually scared too. I can't imagine it. How will I feel when I have to face Pascal after being forgotten so many times? What if I feel like giving up? What happens then? Perhaps it's best to let go now, while my feelings for Pascal aren't as strong. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. This decision is much harder than I expected, mm. but I finally made my mind up. If you feel it's necessary, we'll
I'll do what Mr. Sparrow suggested. But until you're sure, I'll keep trying to find a way to save Pascal's emotions and memories. Tell me when you're ready to make a decision. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Already arrive, target. Waiting for the instructions. Accessing. Preparing to back up all core module data. Please, Mr. Sparrow. Backup complete. Initializing formatting. Waiting for instruct. Wait for in. Die. And. Mm. Pascal, Clara, Big Brother. Mm. Hey, Hell. depression. Hey, Clara, Big Brother, Pascal, very happy. Finish mission. <laughs> Let's get out of here. No. Oh. That's a depressing. That's it's okay. It's it it's it's okay, Clara. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's sad. All right, we're done. God dang it! Oh my god, I hate this stupid wheel. And we're done. All we got left is the stuff that annoys me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We did it. Officially caught up before the next update.